Hey everybody, this is Pete, and in this video I want to demonstrate a couple of techniques for controlling the work plane size but inside of an assembly file. Relatively straightforward to do with a part file but a little bit trickier within an assembly file, but thankfully still really easy, just a couple of settings to be aware of. First things first, <clears throat> got an assembly here, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, a part, just a simple extrusion, we'll say it's 20 inches, save it as a custom, call it good, place it. So the first thing that we can do, we place the shape, we can come over to our assembly work plane, right click on it, and we can auto resize. So just like normal, nothing too crazy there, we can have the work plane resize for us. But what if we want to manually resize the work plane? We normally could select the plane and find some grips here, but why can't I do that in an assembly? Well, thankfully, just a really simple reason why, it's your selection mode. So if you come up here, normally in an assembly, it's component priority, but we want to switch it to feature priority. And once we switch it to feature priority in the assembly, now we can select that assembly plane, find the grip in the corner, and we can, whoops, manually, uh, as long as this is turned off. So turn off your auto resize. <laughs> now we can manually resize our plane. So those are two options. And notice they do tend to fight with each other a little bit. So make sure you turn off your auto resize in order to manually resize your plane. So pretty simple, quick hitting tip today. Hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.